Hello there, I'm Gail Seram. I am the immigration lawyer you want in immigration court. This brief video will explain to you the documents you are required to receive from the immigration court, the documents you have to file with the immigration court, and the court appearances you are required to make in immigration court. Let's start off by who can be placed in removal or deportation proceedings. If you are in the U.S. unlawfully, you entered unlawfully or you entered with a visitor visa and overstay, once you're here unlawfully, you can be placed in removal or deportation proceedings. Also, if you're a green card holder or permanent resident and you have a past conviction, you've been convicted of a crime, and that crime under the immigration laws make you deportable, you can also be placed in immigration proceedings. Now, how can you be placed in removal or deportation proceedings? As a permanent resident, if you travel abroad upon your re-entry into the U.S., an immigration officer can choose to put you in removal or deportation proceedings if they check your background and see you've convicted a crime that makes you deportable. Also, if you're a permanent resident or green card holder and you file a petition, such as renewing your green card or filing for citizenship, an immigration officer, upon reviewing your background, can also choose to put you into removal or deportation proceedings. If you're just here unlawfully or you're a permanent resident and you encounter law enforcement through a routine traffic stop, maybe a DUI, maybe you're booked into a local jail for a misdemeanor, upon any encounter with local law enforcement, that officer can also turn you over to an immigration official. Now, how do you go to immigration court? How do you know if you have to go to immigration court? Well, if you're being detained, then you will be served what's called a notice to appear, which has your charges and the grounds under the law that immigration is choosing to remove you, and you also get a notice of hearing. So if you're being detained, you will be served these documents. Also, if you're being detained, there are immigration courts in the detention center, and if you're being detained, your first hearing is your bond hearing. Your bond hearing is where you need to get an immigration lawyer, like our office, to prepare and file a motion to the judge, showing the judge why you should be released, and then you can still pursue your immigration deportation proceedings from your hometown and not from a detention center. Now, if you're not being detained, then you will know that you have to go to court because you will be mailed a notice of hearing, and you're gonna see that in front of you right now, a notice of hearing, this is a sample. You will also be sent a notice to appear. Your notice to appear is a very important document. This document has the factual allegations in your case and it also has the immigration laws that the government is seeking to deport you under, the grounds that under the immigration laws that they have the rights to deport you. Once you get these documents, you go to your first hearing, which is your master hearing. You should not go to your master hearing without an immigration lawyer who has the experience of representing clients like you in immigration court. We do and we can represent you. What goes on at the master hearing? Your lawyer will answer to the factual allegations, will answer to the charges against you, and will also present to the judge what relief you will seek to remain in the United States. The judge will then give your attorney a set amount of days to file the required documents and motions, which once those documents are filed, your individual hearing will be set. This is your last hearing. During the individual hearing, that's when you will be a witness, your attorney will choose other witnesses who will help to strengthen your case. The government will ask you questions during the individual hearing. The judge will ask you questions. This is like a mini trial. It's about a two to three hour mini trial. At the end of the individual hearing, that's when the immigration judge will decide whether you get to stay in the United States or you will be deported. If the judge decides that you have not presented enough facts to remain in the United States and the judge chooses to enter an order of deportation, you do have 30 days to appeal and our law office will be happy to help assist and prepare an appeal on your case. We've been very successful with appeals. That is a brief overview of appearance in immigration court and deportation proceedings here in the United States. If you are placed in deportation, if you have a notice to appear in immigration court, give us a call at the Immigration Law Offices of Gail Seram. We have over 15 years of immigration experience representing clients in immigration court and all related immigration matters. We are here to help you and we're happy to help you. Give us a call. Thank you.